Before we get on with today's incredibly special episode, and I mean that, by the way, let me tell you about my favorite brand new collection RPG, Raid Shadow Legends. Can I join your clan? You sure can, but only if you act fast by downloading the game using my special link in the description and searching my clan tag to join the party. There's only a limited number of people I can take, so hurry on over! The game's been growing super fast, and the highly anticipated new update is now live, and that includes a new loyalty program for new players that gives you a daily login reward for the first 90 days. So if you've been late to join, now's your chance to catch up. The game's got amazing graphics, strategic gameplay, huge boss fights, an amazing storyline, and over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize. So if that's your thing, this is your place. One of my favorite champions is Ignatius, because frankly, just look at him. He's, isn't he adorable? He's going to bash your head in with that fire hammer, and he's not even going to give a second thought about it. So stop waiting and go to the video description, click on my special link, and you'll instantly get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck out there, soldiers. Hi there, I'm John, and this is the JonTron Head-to-Head -head Game Jam. Today, two mighty teams will face off against one another in a desperate race against time to create a fully functional video game, with which they will try to impress an expert panel of judges. They will undertake this Herculean task from separate chambers, each one fully outfitted with an identical set of all the necessary tools and hardware required to build their masterpiece. The footage you're about to see is not pre-planned or doctored in any way. It follows in real time each team's journey to outdo the other in the art of interactive entertainment. So without further ado, let's meet our teams. In the right corner, we have the mighty Team Gumdrop, featuring Chris O'Neill, animator, musician, and the one and only Oni NG. Michael Swain, programmer, professional flash game developer, and avid hot sauce historian. Matt Jolly, animator, game developer, and creator of the Madness series on Newgrounds. And opposing them today, the unparalleled Team Unsame Consequences, featuring Jontron. Man who has never made a game, Tom Jackson, Unity expert with over 15 years industry experience. And Claudia Kovacs, 3D and UI artist, clocking in over seven years experience. Between her and Tom, they've completed over 30 game jams to date. All right, now that you're all acquainted with each other, why don't you shake hands? It's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be cool. I'm looking forward to playing. I bet you're wondering, by the way, why I'm here twice. Yeah, good luck. Uh, it's because it's a little thing called when the guy who's going to play the host uh, three hours before you shoot this whole thing you've been planning for ten months just doesn't show up. So uh, it was either me who was supposed to be standing there for real. This is not a joke, by the way. I wasn't supposed to be the host. So just pretend I'm standing right there and we're gonna be all good. All right, everyone, how the hell are you doing? The next 72 hours of your lives are gonna be very interesting indeed, but only three of you can leave here as the game champion. So, if you manage to complete your mission and impress the judges, you will be the proud owner of this prize. That's right, this trophy comprised entirely of vague monetary value. I'm moved to tears. All right, now that you all know the stakes, it's time to get your prompts, which will dictate the kind of game you're making. Well, let's go to it. All right, here we are at the Promptomatic. Rules are pretty simple. There's 15 prompts. Uh, whatever prompt you get, you've gotta make a game based on it. Each team gets two vetoes, and then we pick. So if you don't like to, you veto them. If we don't like to, we veto them. So that basically you can get rid of one that you really don't want to do. All right, so uh, Team Gumdrop, what's your first veto? Uh, what you, I, I really hate that one. I don't the want archaeologist. to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, game about the depressed archaeologist. Gone. In my opinion, I really... Are you um, going to say the same one as me? Well, which one are you thinking? The postmodern art house game with user generated content. I mean, you have to make something with UGC in a game jam is insane for a start. Yeah. Postmodern art house, mm, friendship, it's really fluffy, isn't it? Okay. Well, yeah, you I'm, like... I'm good with that. Okay, yeah. we're going to take this one out of the running. <laughs> okay, so what's your second video? Again. Um, I think we really despise the idea of making a cooking game. Where's that? That's... Okay. Goodbye. Bye bye. A cross between Cookie Clicker and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, but funnier. Gone. So, I guess the last one, that, I feel like that crowdfunded one is the one I hate the most. I, yeah, probably out of all of them. That's the weirdest and hardest one to do. Okay, we're taking out. We're yep. good. Crowdfunded, yeah, yeah. student project folks on drugs and fear. Goodbye. So we have 11 prompts left, and now okay. this is the catch. Each team picks for the other team. But there's only one way to find out who goes first. And you know what that is, don't you? A guinea pig race! Bring him out! All right, here we are. Rules are pretty simple. Each team's got 
a nice cute little guinea pig with a cape to match. We're gonna let them ride, and whosoever teams gets to the center first wins, and they get to pick first. Okay, so uh, Claudia will be doing the honors, and who's doing the honors on your team? Chris, your captain. Take it. Okay, okay, here we go. Chris and Claudia, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, pull! <laughs> is this Ling Ling? Go! Yeah. Ling Ling, come on. Oh, 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 there we go. Come on, you fool. Ling Ling, what are you doing? Wrong way. It's the wrong way. Uh, that's the point of the maze, unfortunately. Oh, oh, yes. I'll give you a sound of oh, no, don't distract it. Don't distract it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You clever little thing. Oh my god, a surprise, an upset. Bling Bling is the winner and Kiwi's useless. There we go. All right, hey. everyone's a winner today. Winner. Except us, they, they won. You get to put yours down now though. All right, Team Gumdrop, you won that event of the century. So you get to pick first. Uh, so what game will we be making? Uh, we think you should do a game where you wield a bazooka, which is attached to an assault rifle and misfires often. Okay, that's ours. A game where you wield a bazooka, which is attached to an assault rifle and misfires often. I think that's got some good like potential. It. Yeah, I like it. That's, that's good. Thanks. It's a thumbs up on us. Okay, and you guys will be making, we decided, uh, this one, a game where you control a clumsy pirate who hates the monarchy. So, there you go. Oh, right from Britain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're coming for you next. <laughs> All right, enough chat. Let the game jam commence! We got 72 hours. Go, go, go! Get the hell out of here! And me too! Okay. We've got 72 hours to make a game. <laughs> Tom and Claudia, it's real. Okay. Okay. It's real this time. Uh, hmm. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, whoa! <laughs> Off to a great start. Okay. Uh, we need to make a game where you control a clumsy pirate who hates the monarchy. All right. Uh, where should I stick this? A game where you wield a bazooka which is attached to an assault rifle and misfires often. So what I like about this, and okay. you tell me because you got the experience. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it gives us the, the mechanism here. Yeah. With the, the um, mechanic is Yeah, the mechanic is kind of good. already there. Like a gun attached to a gun. A well, bazooka's not really a gun, I suppose. It probably shoots guns. Yeah. But, yeah, but I get you. But okay. if we add the misfiring in and make it fun. Yeah, well, that. Because yeah. otherwise, your character's just annoying and every now and then, like, yeah. jolts you out of place, which I don't know if it's yeah. fun. Uh, maybe if we did something like software piracy, mm -hmm. yeah. um, that could be just a thing. Like I don't know how we make that fun. Just run it all the way out like you can download yeah. a car. What else do we have for pirates? Or are we kind of running out of options we got here? The ARG kind, the Somali kind, and the software kind. Right. Anybody who takes wantonly is a pirate. Mm -hmm. Water is kind of implied. Whatever we do, we can work with water. Right. But I don't know that water is one of our strengths. So if we're going to go for water, even using out-of-box Unity stuff, mm -hmm. I don't know that we're going to have the best possible product as a result of that. Do you not think maybe it would be a good idea to like start with a mechanic or a simple concept? Maybe. I, I kind of feel like we're all sort of artistically inclined, even me, the programmer. Like mm -hmm. I feel like we, we have like a, a, a mood or something that can inspire the gameplay mechanic. Right. And I could be wrong. I'm, I'm totally down to talk mechanics first. Yeah. What do you really do in this kind of situation? Yeah, with the game jam? probably just make it. Just make it. You start, yeah, and you just you make the mechanic thing, and you make that ten second, ten seconds of fun. You just try and get that down, and then you build the sort of scenario around it. What if the misfiring is like based on your actual skill? Like if you do something wrong, it misfires. So if you do something wrong, it misfires. Yeah, or like what? It's like really delicate, so you have to be very careful with this gun. And if you sort of walk too fast or you bump into something, it'll go off. Hmm. That's an idea. Oh, that could be. Yeah. yeah. That could be when interesting. Makes some sense. Walk over a small rock in a tiny space, <laughs> and it just fires. Because the whole it's thing right. is like oh, once, yeah. once it starts going off, right? Then it's like this chain reaction of like chaos. So if you want to fire the bazooka, you actually have to mess up. Because yeah. Like so like you, you might have to kill a boss or whatever, and like the only way is to use the bazooka. You have to literally run into the walls and stuff to make it go off. You have yeah. to mess up to win. Yeah. And there could be like innocent people as well that you don't want to yeah, kill. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> wait, wait, what? I was thinking for the software pirate, if we want to do something like that. Okay. It's about, it's about a clumsy pirate, so it has to be him knocking shit over. Yeah, that's true. We can't forget like the operating word here is clumsy pirate. <laughs> I was just thinking yeah. of this like clumsy like torrenting dude who's uh -huh. just like, 
he gets more frustrated <laughs> with the monarch the more he gets caught by the government yeah. for torrenting shit. Yeah. So he sends viruses to them. Uh, can you show me what the gameplay might look like, like physically? Because all I'm all seeing right. is like one of those games, like the Orwell games, where you just see your own desktop is the game. <laughs> look, yeah. but, which would obviously not be what we would do because that, that would be what I you see. Fingers. That would be what you see. It's him on his computer. So and, it's uh, like a side scrolling. No, 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 no. Like this, this, this is just the first scene. This is like. Yeah. And oh, Fedora? Oh, yeah, his, that. right. He's yeah, go. got his cape, okay. yeah. And obviously his. <laughs> redneck beard? Okay. His red, yeah, Captain Redneck Beard. I like that. Captain Redneck Beard. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Okay. No matter what we do, that's the name of yeah. the character. Now I'm like really sold on this idea. Just because of Captain Redneck Beard. Yeah. That, You're so right. I could actually, while you guys are programming, You're gonna make a go off and film something. You're going to do an intro or something? Not necessarily. Like we can make maybe some FMVs. Like, like, <laughs> like Red Alert 2. Classic old, yeah. old school FMV game. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, I can, I can do it. Is a that real? Yeah, that it's real. It's, real. it's in Red Alert. Holy shit. We, we've equipped you with the latest technology. <laughs> yeah. The Bazooka it's Rifle 2000. It's a bit temperamental. You know what I mean? It's a prototype. Yeah, yeah. it's a prototype. <laughs> we haven't really tested it yet. That's why, that's why we're waiting on you. I like that. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm, I'm liking this idea only just because we're using the gimmick is that it's just a doofus idiot guy. He's <laughs> it covers the clumsy stronger than it covers the pirate. Yeah. Yeah. And the monarchy, yeah, that's more dialed in than like this one. But yeah, yeah. That, something is going to be anyway. I was gonna say yeah. if we're gonna make anything strong, like yeah, I like this clumsy idea. I can I can get to work on a guy that does some of this stuff that you click and drag him around. At the very least, to be setting up the collision boxes to right. have a, a more or less ragdoll character stand up. Yeah, I could absolutely just jump all over that. I, I could start. And on start him. like sending you uh, blend files or whatever. Okay, I'll start on him and then uh, yeah, let's get to it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, so we'll break to stations. Yes. yes. And get this going. All right. Yes. Go we'll start team making things. Gumdrop. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to make the plan to make the FMVs like tomorrow. That's fine, yeah, because... Yeah, right. first we have to see how long it takes to actually make it feel good. Yeah. To right. and to yeah. control the guns. Well, you tell me. Do we have it to start? Of course, man, yeah. Should we go for it? Let's do it. All right. All right. And uh, if anyone it. comes with any more ideas, just... Okay. Speak. Sure. Oh my god, are we just sitting down <laughs> to make the game now? <laughs> this is real. This is yeah. like straight up real. You gonna make a fedora? Man, God damn it. right you do. I swear hat. I'm gonna judge everything you do every <laughs> second longer before okay, it's done. Shut up. Okay, so me and Matt need to make a shit ton of uh, bedroom assets. Yeah, and start only with the core furniture stuff. We'll worry about all the cool like flower pots and toaster ovens. Yeah, like, yeah, all yeah. Other crap. yeah. I'll mark the stuff that I'm working on or like am getting done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we can have this stuff divided up pretty evenly. I'm gonna start sculpting our sweet young man. Okay. Oh, cool. As viewers at home, this is the fun part. This is where. We this is where nothing looks good yet. <laughs> so, we ended last night at, um, we only really spent a couple hours last night. We just did the yeah. brainstorm session. You know, we got our Google Drives synced so we can uh, share assets. Why are you laughing? It's serious! You need organization in this kind of procedure. Anyways, this is where the real division of labor is going to begin. I'm going to be uh, playing with my slinky. Uh, it's, it's tough. I mean, this is a game in itself. Just, I'll just th show this to the judges. Claudia's working on, you know, getting some uh, models, right? Yeah, I'm making a train. Oh, uh, yeah, she's making the train model. Uh, this is the UV yeah. layout for the model. This is why I need to begin texturing. Oh, well, I don't even know what the hell it is. Yeah. Tom's yeah. working on our little bazooka man, our, our makeshift bazooka man. I don't think he's going to look like this. I'm actually, uh, I'm liking it, in my opinion. It's funny. What kind of pants would a fucking neckbeard wear? Sweatpants. Uh, Jankos. Jankos? Even better. Yeah. What are Jankos? Really? You're, oh, yeah, you're too young. It's the really, I'm fucking really 30. <laughs> way too young. Okay. It's, this is like a, the early 90s phenomenon. So, Swain is working hard on the game engine right now. Sweet. So right now we have this little, uh, this player right here. Those little things in the front are just to help me understand which way he's facing. Once I have a better system, you'll be able to grab his hands and kind of pull them and grab onto them. So let's grab this thing here, like that. And now I'm holding this. As long as I hold spacebar, I continue to be able to swing this around. Keep in mind, this model is going to be swapped with the guy that uh, Chris made and Matt is currently finishing up. We're just going to try to make a fun little enclosed experiment and see if that, uh, if that experiment yields a fun scenario. We don't know, <laughs> so we're going to try. <laughs> This is awesome. But when you're shooting and you start running, it's just sort of shooting oh. into the air. So, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you notice how wacky he walks as well? Because he's like, this thing, is too, <laughs> this thing is too heavy. And it actually feels 
super heavy and weird. <laughs> but he kind of looks like he's shaking it as he's walking. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was the best I could do to get this sort of clumsy, clumsy effect. So yeah. we got to let them get to this. So um, we're going to give you an update in a little bit. But uh, I am going to be, I think, working on the F little FMV cutscenes we talked about. Yeah. So it basically starts with a bit, uh, starts with a cutscene, start screen, a mission briefing, some codecs, and then uh, an, an end cutscene. And then your then, death screen, yeah. And then the death screen ones will be random. And our little general character is going to be Dutch, because American general is just so cliche. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, your brain looks a lot different than I expected! <laughs> I don't, I have to, I'm going to have to brush up on my Dutch act. <laughs> okay, so now we need to collect the sound work and foley for this slob main character of ours. So we're going to kind of like putz around uh, the space here. <laughs> Alright, ready? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm going to do the eating one now. Alright, mm -hmm. alright. This view is disgusting. I can see all the little crumbs yeah, in your every beard. Yeah, every single pore. Every <laughs> s um, Knock that thing over. Yeah, let's rattle that boy. Ready? This is fun. <laughs> Christopher. Shit. All right, we'll come back for that. Just remember it's there. Dude, we got a perfectly good fly right here. He's alive. Yeah? Do you want to put him in the game? Record Speak him. up! <laughs> oh, we need fly effects, too, don't we? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> yeah. right. Okay, here is where I'm going to be playing my Dutch general. All right, and here's the costume we're going to be using. And Mel here is going to turn me into a Dutchman, aren't you? <laughs> we're going to try at least. Yeah. She's got a nose. She said she brought a nose with her. Very Dutch quality. Very Dutch nose. First quality <laughs> of the, uh, the, the quintessential Dutchman's quality. Going to need a big old <laughs> witch's nose. That's literally, I swear, I didn't, I didn't. Ask her to do that. She did that like all on her own. All have come to witness the spectacle. This is a spectacle. All point and laugh. I'm the devil. <laughs> peeper to peep, peeper to peep. He's been practicing some okay, Dutch ready? phrases. That's that's actually what you do to put the wind real on peeper to peep. Peeper to peep, peeper to peep, peeper to peep, hurrah. <laughs> this looks insane. <laughs> How does this look? Amazing. This does not look like a military person, I'm, but it could look like a human person. <laughs> it's, it's bad. I'm really shocked yeah. at what I'm looking at here. Yeah, it's <laughs> weird. It kind, of, it kind of works, actually. You do look Dutch now. Greeting spy. <laughs> Greeting spin. Okay, this is important. I have to draw this every time I open up Photoshop or I can't get any work done. It's Swain. This is for the game. This is really important. I had <laughs> to draw been, Have you just been <laughs> fucking around the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> so right now, working on some music. Uh, I don't have any of my uh, contact libraries with me, so I have to make do with whatever uh, FL Studio downloaded with. So I'm just starting off with something intense and like... <laughs> you like that, Swain? <laughs> Sometimes. I do. Dude, that's hacking music. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so the, what, why the name Unsame Consequences? Basically, there's that video of, uh, what is it, Jesse Slaughter. Uh, her dad is like really mad. I don't know what happened to her, but he was like, if you ever come after my daughter again, consequences will never be the same. I just thought it was such a funny thing. It's really dumb, but that's why. <laughs> consequences will never be the same. Unsame Consequences. Don't ever speak of this again. Oh, by the way, Tom works on a monitor like this. We had this to create is, a wallpaper just for it. This is normal, John. Is it normal? Uh, no. Is it normal, Tom? I don't think so. Is it normal? <laughs> this is that, That's coder screen right there. Yeah. So this guy just randomly throws stuff at you. Oh, you got, you got a guy doing stuff already. Yeah. His throw is a bit weak, but we can... <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the most his... nefarious baddies yeah. I've ever seen in my life, Tom. Oh, no. Oh, this is cool, though. No, it's coming together. If this started off kind of like, you know, whoever wins, wins, but now we want to beat them, because we hear there's something going on down there. Some yeah. cool, allegedly. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Not on our watch. Uh, uh, so it's gonna be like happening when he's like running all over. When it gets stressful. So there's there's a lot of unknowns uh, and nuances when it comes to working in a 3D engine like Unity, and they do a lot of work for you so that I don't have to do much to make it feel like he's this like bouncy, goofy noodle man. Uh, the problem is, though, that because of the nuances of what they do for you, and I, the, and I don't have complete control over what goes into it, 
I could be left with a character whose physics pieces don't collide correctly or collide too often, um, things that twist and move and don't interact with the environment the correct way, and I could lose the day working on something that the game can't live without, which is the controls and the uh, the character's general movement system. But this is the last like real full day that we have. Tomorrow's gonna be kind of a bust. Yeah, but even like spare time, we uh -uh. can't think that we have spare time. Like everything yeah. has to like be towards getting it done and then like we can't think we'll be done in a few hours and then we get to actually spend time beautifying because like, you know, I'm, I keep saying that, but that's really not the case. Very it's cool. coming together, it's coming together. Yeah, the FMVs are in there. It's got like that Red Alert 2 e vibe, I think. Great. It's pretty cool. I don't know, yeah. we're, we're sort of er erasing to meet the clock now. Yeah, we've got audio to do, uh, get all the sound effects that you found into the game. Um, I'm, pre I'm feeling pretty tired. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. A bit drained. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm knackered. All right, he's knackered. I have been sleeping, but it's just it's relentless work. No, I agree. Yeah. Is it bad that I'm used to this? <laughs> We going? Oh yeah. We good? Oh yeah. Uh, this is the last day. We are, we are not doing so good. Swain is stressed out. Uh, I got a lot of stuff left to record, sound wise. But even if I do it, there's a good chance it won't get put in the game. Weird shit. Uh, he's dealing with weird shit too. Um, what's going on, Swain? Um, I'm trying to finish the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got like yep. what? We got three hours left as of three minutes ago. So. Uh, it's not, it might not happen. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, we'll see. What the hell happened to the player? Oh, he's back to having oh, the gun reach. It's broken. <laughs> there's basically every time you restart the game, there's a 10% chance that you're just gonna die straight away. So you. <laughs> Speaking up. We're fucked. <laughs> no, we're fine. Don't listen to we'll that. We'll be okay. I just, it sucks that we couldn't get everything we wanted in. Yeah, also, but neither could they, neither, neither does anybody. That's yeah. the thing. What's happening? The, I can recreate the, the thing and I'm not sure what's doing it. Mm. But it, watch this. If I just go anywhere, I can go like this. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? And that's the thing, if this if it's fucked, what can we do about it? That's it, that's the game. Mm. That's it. Didn't we have a, a build a few hours ago that was at least functioning? Yeah, if you want to go back to that build and remove like eight hours of work that we did oh. today, yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, it's getting there. I think I think we can do it. I think we're sort of... I think it's pretty close. It, it's just buggy. Yeah, if we were to hand it in now, it would just, it would be okay. But we want to like fix a bunch of these little bugs that yeah. seem to keep happening. Oh shit. Okay, we're in the final 60 seconds. It's oh. up on the TV. There. Final 60 seconds? Final, seconds. final 60 minutes. <laughs> uh, good thing we're not in the final 60 seconds. Oh, that's what it is. They're doing a thing. The hour. <laughs> that's oh, that's cute. mean. <laughs> that's real cute. It's definitely about the hands getting caught on shit, and I don't know what the fuck the problem is. I remember at the start you coded it. Maybe you got some loose code. Does that does it work that way? I don't loose know. code. Yeah, like oh, like, uh, like aberrant renegade code. <laughs> you, at the beginning, you coded it so that his head would be kept up by some code. Would that be part of the engine? Or I don't fucking know how code works. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, for God's sake. Okay. What happened there? You cheated and still just fell down the gap. <laughs> you, che you cheated? Oh wait, <laughs> I cheated and then still lost. That's, that's um... That might be related. I'm not gonna comment. Please fucking work, come on. <laughs> oh no. Yep. We got like 45 minutes left and now our main character is glitching through walls and shit. Yeah, it's, it's fucking great because everything was fine and then now it's not. All right, do you see that? Oh. What happened? This capsule with nothing wrong with it just sent like just sent me somewhere. It fucked up. Oh. Yeah, see that? All right, I'm gonna find all the things that seem to cause it, mm. and we'll just like remove them or something. Like, what was that? I have no idea what that was. <laughs> oh! Ew. You see that? You got some. It's working. It's physics based and fun. I think. Yeah, I like that. Feature. I don't think it's yeah. very uh, game breaking. <laughs> all right, I think I got it. Maybe. What, what what was the solution? Um, there was like a fucking input loop or a feedback loop on one of the like Y values for the character. That's it? Yeah, it's something I was I, I had put in to fix a problem with Unity and now something else is gonna break, but that's fine. Mm. This problem is less important than the one that we just solved. Okay. So yeah. we have 15 minutes, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I need to take this 15 minutes to make sure that all of the things that the character does, um, yeah. that all the like at things that activate, activate the way they're supposed to. That's all, that's all I gotta mm. do. Okay. And at least then we have a game, right? Yep. Okay, it doesn't yep. fuck up. Mm -hmm. All right? Go for it. All right. This is, this, this is the build, John. Yeah. I think we're done. This is it. I just want to check the ending, just make sure these things play. 
Yeah. Oh wait, did I? Is he not rotating? Hold on a second. Oh, no. No, no, no. If it's not, it's because I changed it, um, and I can put it back on when we were doing our test. One minute. You're doing great. Okay. Yeah, there it is. That's all. That's why Matt was having so much trouble. Okay, cool. Oh. Well, we found that in the last minute. Jesus. All right, we're zipping. This is it. With 25 seconds on the clock. 25? <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> we're about to have a game. Fucking Christ, I feel like a pregnant mother. You have five seconds now. Gonna have the cabinet pay. Done. All right, done. Woo! Five, four, And got three, it, it's perfect! We two, finished, it's done! One! Ah! All right, game's playable. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> All right, we're done. All right, it's over. Okay, so we have the game. We're, we're not working on it anymore, but I'm just gonna take a look at it. Ow. <laughs> After a long 72 hours, the Game Jam reaches its conclusion. Both teams return to the stage to present their games to the expert panel of judges. Please welcome Stay at Home Wisconsin Mom. My son played the Grand Theft Auto one time. Next thing you know, he's strangling cats before he moved on to people. Hailing all the way from Southeast Asia, please welcome President of the Lao People's Democratic Republic, Bonehang Vorachith. Hmm. And last but not least, world's strongest gamer. Uh, hello, hola. Yeah, I do speak a little bit of Spanish. Uh, that's real, by the way. I also want to say, if you dispute my name, because you're probably wondering, are you the strongest? Uh, so at Comic-Con 2014, uh, this creep, this, this effing weirdo was like talking to some cosplay chick that I was talking to. Uh, I socked him, he went down in about four seconds. Uh, he bled everywhere, and yeah, so I am strong as hell, but I could go on. But yeah, I do love all games, what's up? First up will be Team Unsame Consequences. Their prompt? A game where you wield a bazooka, which is attached to an assault rifle and misfires often. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you can't you can't hit the bazooka on things. It has a chance of firing and that See, and if if it, if it fires it can knock you off the train, which is when you lose. Yeah. You can't actually die. Yeah. We did the we did the cheat way of uh Restarting, which is just to load the game again. Don't yeah. you worry about your shortcuts. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> That's the one. Unavapa! <laughs> I just looked up Dutch interjections. Oh. Again! What the hell did you think you were doing? Sent us a train full of innocent people. Didn't you see they were like unarmed? Good luck shaking those charges. Anyways, I've gotta go. I've got a couple things brewing in my Dutch oven and the aroma is becoming too much to resist. Farewell. And that's our game! <laughs> Alright, it's time for Team Gumdrop. Their prompt? A game where you control a clumsy pirate who hates the monarchy. Here we go. Yeah. See you guys on the other side. Let's see. <laughs> Monarchy! They keep calling me! Who's there? Yeah, so he's Captain Neckbeard. He runs a pirate station and is trying to steal crypto from the monarchy. He's clumsy, I'll give you that. Yeah. Okay. The mouse is moving the hand. Yeah, yeah you, click, uh, you click the hands and drag them around. You use the mouse roller to go in and out. Yeah, Chris, <laughs> you, you want to try it, play for the first time? Oh, uh, sure. Ooh. He's never actually played oh, it before. No. Oh, really? Yeah. Thrones! Thrones with me! Also, this is fucking broken. Look at this shit. <laughs> What, the, the camera spin? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, Give me that. 
<laughs> so yeah, he's like typing. Oh, is that a keyboard? That's him yeah. hacking on the keyboard, yeah. You, you use money to buy tapes and, and stuff from the fridge, and the pizza costs money to, to eat. Okay, okay. So, I feel like this is adding to the overall paranoia. Oh, it's about to kill you. Yeah, you're, you're almost out of dorphins. Oh. Yeah, your dorphins are low. Oh, it did, at least it did the sound at the right time. Yeah. That's right out of the mic? Yeah, on my yeah, phone. I, I recorded everything on my phone. Oops. <laughs> Both teams have played their games for the panel, and now the judges must come to a final decision. Who will take home the trophy? Hello, Twitter world. It's yours truly, uh, myself, and the other two beautiful little things to the right of me. We all made a choice. We all sat down. We all had a chat. He was actually very close. It was within a hair. Green game, green teams, uh, team unsame consequences. They had a better built uh, engine. Uh, they had more creativity when it comes to uh, mix of live action and uh, the game. But we thought team uh, Gumdrop had a more interesting world that we wanted to see explored. And we could go into it more, but in fact, we are gonna do that right now to you. Go, add on what I just said. I like anything with guns. So I like the guns, I like the train. It was about to rob a train, I like that. So, you know. Definitely, the first one played a lot better, um, but I have to say the second one, I was really impressed, which how, there was so much to do, much more to do. I wanted to see more of it, but the first one definitely had the better build. And for that, and for all those reasons and more, we're gonna say it on three, we're gonna say it on what, three, two, one, and we're gonna say it. So you ready? Three, two, one, team, team gun, gun drop. drop. Outrage. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It was horrible. Christopher, and Captain. <laughs> oh my god. Really? <laughs> that was just a gag. We have a real one. Nice. Well done, boy. Uh, look at us. Just like a couple you. of gumdrops. Yeah, no, no.